What was the hardest thing for you to be honest with yourself about? That I was going to get divorced. I never thought I was going to get divorced. I didn't want to get divorced. I didn't want to be a divorced person. I really didn't want to be uh, a split family with my children. And it upset me because it meant I wasn't who I thought I was. And that was so painful and so disappointing. I really don't want my children to pay for my sins. Ben Affleck has been a mainstay of Hollywood for more than two decades, yet his skill is always developing. The actor and director opened up on how events in his own life influenced his acting in a recent roundtable chat with The Hollywood Reporter. Affleck remarked that there were elements of high school basketball coach Jack Cunningham in The Way Back that resonated with him on a personal level. I'm a recovering alcoholic and I played an alcoholic in the movie, he said. Though grief is also a major component of the story and role, Affleck maintained that a lot of it is about alcoholism. Alcoholism in and of itself, he went on, is a compulsive behavior, and compulsive behavior are not inherently super interesting. But what is sometimes interesting is what you discover about yourself in the course of recovery and trying to figure out what went wrong. Keep pressing, trapping, taking charges. How to fix it, how you want your life to look like, and what kind of ethics you want to live by. Following this, Ben Affleck went on to talk about how the breadth of his life experiences had contributed to his performances, including his divorce from from one of his fellow actresses, Jennifer Gardner. The star, who is currently dating Jennifer Lopez after her split with Alex Rodriguez, then went on to say that the divorce had a very huge impact on his acting career and life itself. What if my dad gets drunk? What if he does something stupid? What if he ends up on TMZ? Yes, I'm an alcoholic. Yes, I had a relapse. Yes, I went into recovery again. And then I went and did that movie. But for me, the movie was much more about the fact that whether it's having lived enough years, having seen enough ups and downs, having children and divorce, I'm at a point now in my life where I have sufficient life experience to bring to a role to make it really interesting for me. I'm not good enough to just invent it from the whole cloth, you know? I didn't have to do research for the alcohol aspect of the movie that was covered. It was the Daniel Day-Lewis approach to that. Affleck and Garner separated back in 2015 after staying married for over a decade. The former couple also share three children, namely Violet, 15, Serafina, 12, and Samuel, 8. In a 2020 interview with the New York Times, Affleck had labeled the divorce the biggest regret of my life, going on to admit that there was a connection between his alcoholism and the failure of his marriage. What happened was that I started drinking more and more when my marriage was falling apart, he said. Drinking, of course, created more marital problems. Ben met Ana de Armas while filming Deep Water after they split up, and they married a few months later. During their romance, the couple pulled off a variety of attention-getting antics, including placing a cardboard of Anna on Ben's front lawn. Ben was then seen dumping the cardboard cutout into the garbage outside his home after their relationship ended earlier this year, while cameras recorded him in action. Talking about the dark times in his life, Affleck maintained that the one thing that kept him going was the external support that he received throughout the time. He turned back to drink when his marriage with Jennifer Garner began to break down, with the duo divorcing back in 2018. Fans had begun to become concerned about the film star when he was seen looking glum and disheveled on nights out. About him going to rehab, Affleck revealed that his family, friends, and fans had given him the strength to talk about his battle with alcohol, and he admitted he was fighting for himself and his family. He had also written proudly about a time that he felt was a strong moment for him. The week I completed a 40-day stay at a treatment center for alcohol addiction, and remain in outpatient care. The support I received from my family, colleagues, and fans mean more to me than I can say. It's given me the strength and support to speak out about my illness and others. Battling any addiction is a lifelong and difficult struggle. Because of that, one is never really in or out of treatment. It is a full-time commitment. I am fighting for myself and my family. Considering his statements, Affleck's recent patch-up with his ex-girlfriend Jennifer Lopez has surprised fans across 
across the world. Lopez and Affleck had first met in 2002 and quickly transitioned from co-stars to lovers. Their romance was hot and heavy, but it was short-lived. They dated for only four months before becoming engaged, only to split up a year later in 2004. So it was only about 15 years later that this lost love between the two somehow rekindled after Alex Rodriguez seems to have left the picture. The question is, has Ben Affleck gotten rid of his older self? It does appear so due to how well his relationship with Jennifer Lopez has been going. Breaking, 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 breaking fucking news, announced Jennifer Lawrence mid-podcast interview earlier this spring. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez are back together. As one, Lawrence's guest and she screamed in delight after the news got announced. Breaking, what? breaking, breaking fucking news. Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck are back together. They're on no! vacation. They are on vacation <laughs> with each other right now. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez reunited in the spring of 2021. Since 2004, they'd both been married, had children, and gotten divorced. And when Lopez dissolved her engagement with former Yankees player Alex Rodriguez at the beginning of the year, both she and Affleck were single at the same time. According to the Gossip Press, Affleck began wooing Lopez by email in February. It was also during these days that things between Alex Rodriguez and Jennifer were not exactly working out. The relationship between Jennifer and Ben had been going on for four years until they decided to call it quits. There are many reasons why the couple may have broken up, but the one that seems the most obvious is Alex's infidelity. There is no solid proof per se that Alex was actually cheating on another woman, but the rumor has it that something was going on between Madison LaCroix and Alex Rodriguez. The two even started dating right after the breakup was announced, which is still less than the time Jennifer seems to have taken to get over Alex. In fact, Madison also spoke out about the whole thing, saying that Alex and she actually never met in person. However, they did remain in touch digitally. Here's exactly what got said by Madison. He never physically cheated on his fiance with me. I don't want anything bad for his family or for mine. We're definitely innocent in this. From these statements, it looks obvious that something was up even if they didn't actually do anything physical. At the very least, Alex was messing around with Madison while still engaged to Jennifer. They were first photographed together on April 30th, and in July, they made it Instagram official. They are now reportedly shopping for houses together. One look at the couple enjoying together shows that Benefer 2.0 is repeating quite a few of the same iconography Benefer 1.0 used. However, the public reception this time around is much different than it was back in 2003. They lost their love once, and so did we and now it's been miraculously reborn let's appreciate this in a way we didn't the first time posted Lou at Laney gossip look at what JLo is giving us we should be grateful Affleck has been seen wearing the watch Lopez gifted him in the Jenny from the block video out and about he gave her a framed image of their 2003 Vanity Fair profile photo of the two of them riding a motorcycle together on a yacht he was even photographed massaging sunscreen into her buttocks prompting headlines to compare it to the famous butt kiss from Jenny on the Block. Similarities are so close that comedian Cassie St. Ange has speculated that Benefer is filming a shot-for-shot -shot remake of Jenny on the Block. Ben may have lived a troubled life in the past, but his getting back together with Jennifer Lopez has gone a long way in uplifting his reputation once again. The actor who had become a living embodiment of a troubled person seems to have made quite the recovery. What are your thoughts on the actor's divorce and Jennifer Gardner and his recent patch up with JLo. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.